Okay, hi guys. This is a special annotation video uh, requested by one of my viewers about finding the circle of fifths on guitar. It's actually a very simple process, okay? You can either do it between two strings or you can do it with chords. All right, let's start with uh, chords. You want to do the circle of fifths. Now, if you're capable of bar chords, that's look, if you can't do bar chords, try to learn how to do them because it makes life a hell of a lot easier on guitar. Um, but, all right, now, uh, I, in my system, I call uh, chords by form one and form two chords. And what that means is, uh, let me get this set up so you can see the whole neck. Yeah, that's good. All right, so form one and form two chords. For example, if I go from G to C, I find my root of the G chord in the E string, whereas with the C chord, I find my root in the A string. That's a C note right there. So I call this form one major, and this is form two major. All right. Um, if you can accomplish the double bar, God bless you. I try to teach this. I have too many students that don't have the strength and the kind of, you have to be a little double jointed to do it. I'm lucky I am double jointed so I can do this. Uh, anyway, to go around the circle of fifths, if we start on C, all right, and we use the form two bar chord C major, and all I do is go to the major chord above it in form one, I get C to G, all right? Now I go up a whole step, all right? So I'm skipping a fret, D to E, uh, D to A, E to B, and then F sharp, uh, F sharp, if you want to think of it in terms of sharps, and we should for this particular one. So again, and notice that that's exactly where we stop on the circle of fifths, is the key of F sharp, if you remember from the diagram. So this is real easy. Just go bum, 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 bum. And all the time you're traversing whole step distances. If you don't want to think of it as whole steps, you move up two frets to the next set of shapes. So form two C chord, form one G chord, form two D chord, form one A chord, form two E chord, form one B chord, form two F sharp chord. So that gives us the sharp keys, okay? Now the same process can happen uh, with uh, exactly the same way, except now instead of starting on a form two C, we're gonna start on the C chord up there, here. And we do the same process backwards. So we go C to F, right? Then we go down a whole step, B flat to E flat, A flat to D flat, and now we're gonna call this G flat because we're in the flat category. Now one thing you might say is, well wait, one, two, three, four, five, in the first one, uh, in the first one, C to G, right? Well, see, that's, that's a fourth distance, right? But C to G over here is a fifth. Let me explain. Here's the C scale going backwards. One, two, three, four to G. Or going up to G is one, two, three, four, five. So the circle of fifths can also just as easily be called the circle of fourths, okay? Depends on which way, which direction you're thinking in. So that's uh, one thing that you have to grok. So once again, let me review this. To get the sharp keys, you, you do seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And again, form 2C at the 3rd fret, form 1G at the 3rd fret, form 2D at the 5th, form 1A at the 5th, form 2E at the 7th, uh, form 2B at the 7th, form 2F uh, uh, sharp at the 9th. Uh, and by the way, this, this chord movement may sound a little familiar to you, right? That's a song, Maybe I'm Amazed. This, uh, when I do, maybe I was thinking of analyzing this song. It is insane what it does, and it's so brilliant and so well thought out, and, and yet it feels spontaneous. I love the Beatles. There's very few, uh, you know, regarding the Beatles, by the way, uh, I, you know, after they broke up, I thought they lost their genius, but they still had some momentum on their first one or two records when they left. So I always love John Lennon's first and second record. I really like that. After that, I get bored. I love McCartney's first and second record. I love Ram. I think it's as good as any Beatles record. Ram is spectacular. There's 
McCartney really shines on that record. Uh, and George Harrison's All Thing Must Pass. Now, he blew his wad on that one because he had a backlog bunch of tunes that he was writing. He was all confident, confidence in himself. And uh, he uh, does this triple album. I mean, dude, really? You, you better save some of your energy for the future, which he did not do. And then, quite honestly, I think a lot of his songs by the Dark Horse record became kind of dorky. Same thing with McCartney. I can't deal with songs like Magneto and Titanium Man. I have a really hard time with dorkiness, even though I myself, uh, you know, I can be a dork. So maybe that's why, you know. Anyways, so that's it for the Circle of Fists. Now, if you want to do it note-wise, um, one way to do it is to make a power chord shape. We're going to start on the C, and we go... Uh, well, actually, let's do the power chord shape on this C so we can move up the neck. So this is on the A string, third fret, and the D string, fifth fret. So we just make the shape C, G, and then we go up a whole step and do the same movement. D, A, E, B, F sharp. All right? Now, to do the, uh, the flat keys, you would do the same thing, but stay on the same fret. So, uh, I'm sorry, uh, here we're going to start on the C up here for the flat key. So we're going to go C to F, make that move a whole step below, B flat to E flat, make that move a whole step below, A flat to D flat, and end on G flat. You always do seven in the series, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or in the case of uh, uh, fifths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that's it. Circle of fists for guitar. Not terribly difficult. Thank you. Have a good one.